All right, ask me anything, my favorite uh, time of the week. Questions from you people. Hopefully I have the right answers. Uh, if you would like to ask me questions, simply subscribe, hit the button below. Uh, subscribers get to ask as many questions as they like. So uh, join the conversation, subscribe to my Substack. We'd love to have you. Um, Joseph writes, love all your work, was curious how you eat your popcorn. Hmm, I'm a big popcorn guy. I have two or three different varietals of natural corn, uh, mostly local here from the uh, Midwest, some from Nebraska. Um, and I, I go plain. I very rarely go butter, very rarely, uh, once a year. Um, but I will say this, when I developed my line of uh, uh, spices with Padilla, you can buy them, uh, go to Badia.com and just hit on their bodega. My website, andrewzimmer.com, go up and hit on the button at the top that says spices. It'll take you right to it. I found that sprinkling the spice mixtures over popcorn was insane, um, especially the Fiesta mix, which has a lot of dehydrated lime juice in it and chilies and chili powder and cumin. It's amazing on popcorn. I mean, just amazing. Uh, and I'd never done that kind of thing. I was never like a flavor on popcorn guy until I made my seasoning mixtures. Uh, Melissa wants to know <clears throat> what my take is on the gravy versus sauce thing. She's a first generation Sicilian and calling sauce gravy is worse than putting ketchup on a hot dog. Mm. Uh, she had never heard that term until she moved to South Jersey. Uh, yeah. Well, here's the deal. Um, uh, Italian Americans settling in the Northeast, uh, and then of course moving all over this country, uh, when they started braising, uh, meats and sausages and meatballs and other things in, uh, large pots of tomato sauce, um, it took a long time to cook and it was typically done on a Sunday. Uh, the sauce was used for a pasta course. The meat was traditionally used for another course. Uh, now it's all combined into one thing in most uh, households. Um, but it was a real sacred sort of family time. And what's amazing is that, uh, you know, when you go outside of the Northeast, even uh, Italian families that are braising lots of meats do not call it gravy. Um, that is a distinctly Northeast uh, Italian American thing. I, I think it's fine. I mean, you call it whatever you want, right? Um, all I know is that uh, that's the origin of the term. Um, I will also say that uh, for most people, they should know that the longer you cook your tomato sauce, and especially with the addition of meats, the sort of sweeter uh, it gets. If you wanna preserve that brightness and acidity, cook your meat separately, make your tomato sauce, you know, traditional 45 minute Andrew Zimmern technique works beautifully. Uh, and then just combine the two at the table and you have a much brighter acidic uh, sauce with separate braised meat. So there you go. Uh, Robbie says, uh, he's a hunter, loves bizarre foods. Oh, wow. He had, I've met him before on a, on a muskrat hunt. Um, he's a camp cook for their hunting club and, uh, they want to lighten their meals up while still having them elevated and saying that you can eat at hunting camp. Are there any good books or websites that have healthy side dish recipes that would pair well with venison, waterfowl, fish, etc.? Wow. Timely question. Um, First of all, uh, almost anything uh, from any great veg, I mean, look, you could buy Eric Repair's uh, latest simple vegetable book or Jose Andres's uh, latest uh, vegetable book and just translate those to campfire cooking. There's nothing easier than grilling vegetables over an open fire or simply sauteing them very lightly with a, just a hint of oil, a little bit of salt in a, in a cast iron skillet over open fire. That's delicious. And summertime now is a great time for things like ratatouille, right? Um, zucchini, eggplant, tomato, peppers, onions, etc. cooked together with uh, some oregano and basil, a little bit of wine. Recipe on my website at andrewzimmer.com. 
And you can actually pack that in, cook it beforehand and pack it into your uh, fish camp if you like, or just bring the vegetables. Um, and it also freezes really well. But uh, I have a new digital series that's going linear in September on the Outdoor Channel called Andrew Zimmern's Wild Game Kitchen. So you can watch episodes of that at OutdoorChannel.com. And uh, then linear episodes start on Outdoor Channel 9 p.m. on September 19th is the premiere. Uh, and there's lots of helpful tips uh, there. So hope that helps. Uh, speak to you all next week.